Today I'm going to show you how to make the best minion setup possible by using upgrades, fuel, all of that sort of thing and choose which minion to use to make you the most money each day uh, with your minions. So yeah, subscribe and let's get into the video. I'm going to start off with the snow and the clay minion because these two are very very good because they have a low time between actions which makes them really good with diamond spreadings and soul flow engines. Now, uh, the perfect way to set up a snow minion is obviously to get to tier 11. Uh, you do this by upgrading it with uh, set with bits of snow and then you apply some of these upgrades so the best the starting start, starting off thing you need is a super compactor because otherwise this thing is basically useless it will just fill up with snowballs and be completely stupid and, and dumb so what we do is we put in a diamond spreading and a super compactor now this is the most basic thing you can do with a snow minion this is the cheapest way to set it up uh, so you've got that diamond spreading and super compactor that will make you at least 50,000 coins a day which is really really nice um, then you can do a few things to make it better so uh, we've got three different lava buckets now these will go in the fuel slot uh, we've got the enchanted lava bucket the magma bucket and the plasma bucket now these ones uh, they each give five percent more as you go up so this one's 25 this one's 30 and this one's 35 percent now obviously the best one is the plasma bucket so i'm going to put that in there uh, but this one does cost five million coins so that's a lot um, so if you have less coins you can go for an enchant this one's about one million coins and this one's about three hundred thousand. i think maybe maybe more than that um so yeah, it's, this one's definitely the cheapest, but it, it, it does give you slightly less than this one. Uh, so that's another way to set it up, just with the lava bucket. And then you can uh, step it up even more by, you could replace the diamond spreading with a soul flow engine. Uh, now I never really tested this one much before, uh, but now it will start producing soul flow items instead of just the normal items. It will do it slightly slower, uh, but the soul flow stuff sells for a lot, I think. So this is how you want to do it. This thing costs around 2.7 million coins. Uh, so if you want to buy that you can uh, and that will create more uh, it will create sulfur items which sell for a lot so yeah that's a good way to do it and then I like to put in a hopper of some sort you can put in either a budget hopper or you can get a perfect hopper I think it's called uh, that will then uh, be much better enchanted hopper here you go but this one's much more expensive so it's not really viable to get one of these in each of your minions just yet um, but this will give you 90% rather than 50%. Now the reason this is good for a snow minion is because NPC price for snow is basically the same as bizarre price. So there's no real difference between doing that. Um, and then yeah, that's what you could do. Uh, that's basically a good good setup there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could replace one of these with a fly catcher or maybe a minion expander because those things do uh, help you out quite a lot. Well, they give you like 10% extra drops, but I think it's better to sit with a super compactor and either a soul flow engine or a diamond spreading. That's one of the two you can use. And then you definitely need a storage for a snow minion because uh, then you can collect even more. So you can you can not collect this thing for ages and it will just collect in the budget hopper as well, but you'd rather be collecting it yourself because you get more money from that. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to the clay minion, it's basically the same thing, uh, but you want to I think the actually the diamond spreading is slightly better in the clay minion because it does make more drops I believe I'm not sure exactly on the numbers uh, but I only have a magma bucket for this one and you need a thing like that and then you'll need a budget hopper to go in there um, but yeah it's, it's pretty simple to do uh, that's that's how you set up those minions um, They you just need to set something like that and you can make a really good amount of money a day uh, because it's it's about 50,000 coins is about the average for a minion each day so if you say you've got I've got 26 minion slots uh, so if you take it's, that's a lot of money per day it's like 100 130 1.3 million a day I think no was it 13 million one point I don't know something like that um but yeah I can't do maths um it is quite good I think this is this is a very good minion setup if you use either of these it's snowball because slightly more to get set up I think because you need to buy it off somebody else and they might charge you like one to two mil for it whereas the clay minion is quite a lot cheaper but actually it costs around 600,000 coins to get this one to tier 11 whereas this one is slightly less so yeah you can do both either of them is fine um, in terms of other minions it basically just depends on what's selling for a lot at the time there's a, there's a ton of tools you can use online to figure out which one's good but I have a, a quite a few down uh, good ones are I like flint but you can't use diamond spreading because you need a flint shovel um, a lapis glowstone redstone even maybe uh, or tarantula as well obviously tarantula is very good uh, the reason this one is slightly worse though is because uh, it will it requires a lot of money to upgrade it now just to get it up from tier 7 I need uh, a lot of a lot of uh, flint because you need the tarantula web or whatever it is um, the next tier yeah, you need the tarantula silk uh, which is quite expensive to make uh, so yeah 
you need quite a lot of that and it becomes i think it's like 100 million to go to tier 11 and mine's only tier 6 so yeah that's the small downside of that one um but yeah that's basically how you want to set up your minions and also there is a way you can get buffs so this one is if you used all snow minions this is a mining thing a mining minion so you want a uh mining crystal i'm not sure what they're called uh, but yeah you can oh on orb and you can put that around i think i've got a farming orb up here that i can show you um so you want to put that in range of all your minions so you make the most money possible i'm using uh coca bean minions up here but these aren't actually very good i wouldn't recommend that um but yeah you want to have a, an orb here so this is the or farm crystal so this gives 10 percent buff in the radius of eight so you want to make some sort of way to get the maximum amount from that but yeah that's gonna do it for today so if you did enjoy please hit that subscribe button and uh i'll see you guys next time goodbye